What's going on guys, it's your boy Spootnik. A lot of you have probably seen my ultimate how-to guide on lockpicking and scum, and that was just a beginner guide, kind of, you know, getting a feel for lockpicking. And a lot of you had some extra questions, and I figured I'd make a more in-depth video. So in this video, we're gonna cover the in-game settings, as well as your mouse settings. We're also gonna go over how to be more successful with each attempt, and what to do when you find the sweet spot. Pretty much how to feather properly, and crack some gold locks, baby. So right off the bat, I'm using a Razor Death Adder V2. Under performance here, I'm using 800 DPI. Uh, you can kind of set this to whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. It's all pretty much dependent on the player and the play style, but 800 DPI has worked the best for me. I used to do 1600, and once I lowered it to 800, I was cracking more locks. So in the main menu or in game, you can go to your options, head over to mouse. Right now I'm playing with the mouse sensitivity for first and third person at 50. But let's check out the mouse sensitivity for lock picking. I have that set to 45. It used to be 50, which is default, but I lowered it slightly. And, you know, it's been working well for me. But once again, this is all dependent on your play style and how you like it. Some people like it faster. Some people like it slower. Now, before we get into the good stuff, make sure you're advanced thievery, please. It's going to make lock picking so much easier for yourself. All right. So the main thing to take away from this video is tapping F repeatedly like I am right here at this pace while moving the mouse very slowly in whatever direction you feel is necessary. So the reason why we're tapping F as we move very slightly into a direction that we want to go in, it's basically telling us which way the lock's going to go. So for instance, we're moving to the right and you can see that it's slowly giving right here. It's slowly moving to the right. And the further we move, the more it moves down. It'll kind of help you find which direction the lock is going in. Now it's good to break the lock down in sections and just stick to those sections. For instance, if you wanted to stick just to the left side, or even the right side, um, sometimes even the middle. The middle is a good spot too. By sticking to just a small section of the lock, you have a higher chance of getting it within a few tries, or getting the sweet spot within a few tries. And once you get the sweet spot, it's all about feathering. So to feather, we're gonna keep tapping F until we find the sweet spot, and once we find that sweet spot, we're gonna hold it until it moves in the direction we want it to, and once it clicks, we're gonna release F, move the mouse ever so slightly, and then we're gonna click F or hold F, until we get a success. So let's go over it one more time. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, it gave that time, so we're gonna hold it, hold it, hold it. So right here it gets stuck, it's not moving anymore, so we're gonna release F quickly, and we're gonna move the mouse slightly to the right because that's the direction it's going in, and then we're gonna hold F again. Now here's that same exact clip, but at normal speed. Here's how it should look. Watch my hands and fingers as well as watch the lock. Replay the video if you have to. Now here's a tip for you guys. If you have the same settings as me, um, when the lock is right here this close, you literally need to move the mouse a hair. So you, you barely have to move it. If you overdo it, it's going to just break on you or click again. You're going to have to move to the left and it gets really complicated at that point. So once again, watch my hand at 25% speed. You see how it barely moves? Now let's look at it at normal speed. So as I said, it's literally just the hair. Now real quick, another tip. These techniques do work with a bobby pin, but it's a lot more difficult because the bobby pin breaks a lot easier, as you can see here. Use that at your own discretion. Yeah, the bobby pin I feel like is a little more luck based than anything. But once again, guys, if you want to get good at lock picking, practice these methods and usually take an hour or two a day and just practice it if you have the time. You won't get better if you don't practice it. And that's all we really have for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video helped you, uh, leave a like, subscribe. It really helps the channel. Comment if you have any questions down below. And I'll also link the video for the ultimate lockpicking guide as well in case you guys want a beginner-friendly tutorial.